My PPT screen is displaying all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, Dr. Sir. OK, good. OK, today um, is our last session of this training. We try our best uh, to convey you basic of our statistical analysis. So today we will discuss a statistical analysis in R. So this is the brief summary of our sessions, our four lessons. OK. So up to four lesson, I repeat, uh, summarize all our sessions or our trainings uh, today again. That's in one lesson. First, we try to learn the importance of our software, how our software is important and how compatible and how easy to handle to large data. And you see the, you also experience and during the session that uh, we did uh, a lot of workings with a uh, single line commands. So with one line commands, you can do many calculations, mean, summary, standard deviation and other features you explore the in R. So R makes easy and then you see also that the missing value R's delete easily. So with one Excel sheet, we made graph, we do statistical analysis and all other things. So you do not need some more multiple sheets in R. Then we will discuss the structures of our softwares. And the R softwares operates in four window, and now you are, I think you are full of how one, window two, window three, and window four operates. So all these windows, you know more patterns now at this stage. Then you, you learned that they are package and functions. What is the package and what is the functions package? is like application, so you have to first install package and then package contain functions. And many of you are also sending me errors that this package is not found. It means that uh, there is no, uh, sorry, this function is not found in R. So it means that that package is not installed in your library. So first of all, you install the package and then function will, will operates. Then we learned that the types of package are as two type one are already installed in our softwares when you download it, but some others uh, packages are not installed for so performing that functions you need package. So you have to install all these packages. After installation of package, then you have to activate these package. If package is installed, but it's not activated, then uh, error will come, same come out that uh, this function could not found in our software. So check this in. First install your package and then activate this package by through tick marks. Or, uh, in one go in the commands I share with you, so we run this command, so all, all in package will be installed in that. So these were our basics in first lessons. And then we'll move forward to the making a working directory, how we can connect our R softwares with the system. So you learn that all your things should be present in same folder. Your script file and your data file must be present, and there should be no space in file name in folders name. So the error of chances will reduce if you do not make space uh, between file names and uh, your folders name. So we are practicing the and then we learn the, how we can import excel file csv file and also how can we import csv and excel file from our r softwares then we also practice that the export of graph in r softwares how we can uh, export our when we made graphics uh, we can export in png pdf form and we also combine two different graphics in one pdf forms and then uh, we also practice that uh, save and retrieve sessions. When you made a uh, R script become long, so it's uh, better to work in one, two, and three step, uh, like we did work in graphics. We do first in when initial workings, and then we adjusted axes and y axis. Then in uh, third uh, R script, we make uh, graphics in R. Then in th lesson three, we learned about the structure of data. So first you, you would, or do not know what is your uh, independent variables, what your dependent variables. So you have to define our software 
that these are dependent variable, these are my factors, and uh, these are my parameters. So you have to give structure to our softwares. Uh, uh, then uh, we correcting structures, then we practice different uh, head, tail, summary, columns, names, function, then we practice subsetting in ours. We can make, we can delete any factors, we can delete any levels uh, or we select any levels uh, from our large data. We want to publish two papers or we want to uh, write uh, one, one big study into two uh, 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 drafts so we can do that the subsetting. So we do not and need to any deletion, manual deletion in Excel file or any amendment. We can do this by subsetting functions in R. So you and then you, know, you can change of columns, names, and column additions. We learn, and then we see that we can arrange re to levels of treatment. As we experience that sometimes control comes uh, in two and third place, but we want that the, our graph should start from control. So from start control, so we can rearrange on our wish uh, through levels. Then we learned that the how we can uh, we have two data sets we want that we combine the column of two data set and we want to combine the rows of these two data set so we can easily do with the uh, uh, r softwares we do not do we do not need to do any manual working in this regard so these are our the basic structures and the subsettings columns name these are the basic commands combining then so we move to the important lessons where we ask how we can make our graphic more beautiful and how we can control the different part of graphs by our commands so everything's of graphics in your control through our software so we so we saw that the x and y axis adjustment how we can do that so we can legend adjustment can and face in functions that either that's a very important in this command switch so you can make graphic of your wish as we treatment varieties and others what you want in in arrangement so that's a very important then we see the how we can adjust the colors of graph in r then we see that the r work in layers so you have to build first layer then with plus sign you can add the second layers and third layer four layers so you can x label y labels and face it and other thing so you can joint layer by layers uh, your commands and beautiful all graph will come out at the ends so you can change any things of any component uh, of uh, of graphs through commands. Then we see that's how we built in three step complete bar graph. So this is bar graph. So similarly, you can do line graph and other graphics can be, but these are basics are the same for the this graphic. Then we combine two graphics in one PDF files. So these are the summary of our four lesson up to uh, today. So the today is our last lesson on statistical analysis. That's a very important lesson, and we will see that uh, how our deal with the stats. How you can uh, the statistical analysis I R can we done? We can do that. That is easy, but you have to understand its basic. Then how R deal with the models? How R deal with the model formula? So these are the uh, understanding and uh, I will show that so I have made a uh, lot 21 parameters just me. within uh, minutes. You can make uh, statistical analysis uh, mean plus standard deviation and then the letterings R will combine all these and will make one file for you. So you can deal many parameters just in a one commands and one uh, R script. But uh, up to reach that level, it will take some time, times. But in today's lessons, I will build your basic of statistical analysis in R. So you have to understand. Then you understand it, then you can do and make uh, statistical analysis easily. And I give all these in my statistical notes. So you have to read after this lesson, you have to read that statistical notes, and then you will be clear many, many things. So but in this lesson we will try to understand basic of statistical analysis how R operates so up to that uh, anybody have question so we we will move our last lesson
statistical analysis. So anybody has a misunderstanding at anything, any points, he is not clearing the R's. So, but uh, things will be more clear when you will do practice. I am repeated this session in uh, these five lessons or uh, five to six day trainings. These were just to show you that's how our operators and you can do uh, use R and you can use R easily, but it will take practice. It will give you errors and many things. So you sometimes will be confused. It will sometimes it will take more time for you to resolve errors, but it's good. Uh, I uh, trust me when uh, one, two and three months you will using ours, then you, your life will is your all course will be developed. So if I, you want, I agree with you, Dr. Saab, because sometimes uh, some of the function or command doesn't work, uh, but when you repeat it uh, upon repetition several times, it start working. So as you said that the more we practice, maybe within one or two months, we will be able to run it. Uh, I mean, uh, smoothly. Yes, yes, Dr. Nasrullah, you are right. That's an uh, answer. So, so keep practice. So giving break during the sessions and we have left some blank day during the session. It, it was that so you practice it. If we if we finished our all trainings in five day, I think you will not get benefits. But I try to give you breaks after graph. So I give one day breaks and it's uh, like that after three lesson I give you uh, one week break. So you have to practice all this. If I we will finish it in five lessons in five day, I think you will, uh, this training will be not uh, more helpful for you. So we will be in a hurry and we'll finish all trainings in five days. It will be good for us, but it will not good for you. So we give you some time during this training. So you understand, so read our codes, practice these things. And uh, and this, uh, this is the not end of our relations uh, in our software today. So now you are part of our family. So Pakistan, our society, we are working on that. So you are now part of our, our society. So you can share us with your data and so, so you, you can share us with our your script and we will do analysis for you, develop command for your data. So this is the uh, I said in first lesson, this is the, the building of relation. So we are uh, these trainings and our uh, Facebook page and YouTube channel. These all things are promote our software in. Uh, and students and faculty members so that they have to use. So you can share us with your errors, your, your data and your script, and we will uh, give you times and we will work on your data and develop commands for you. So don't be worried anything, but uh, you have to practice that. You have to practice and take in trust all in these things. So then we will, you will use. So do not be afraid with errors and these things. So you, uh, from uh, today, you uh, keep in your mind that I will use only our software. I will not use another software. So you can take a support of other software, but you make your mind that from today I will do all my graphics and statistical analysis and all these things in our software. It gave me problems. I will keep in heart. So it will take, I said, after one or two, three months, you will be more confident with us. So that's uh, any other uh, things in four lessons. So we will move to the forward. Mohit Ali, you have comments on these four lessons and anything else? Uh, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum, sir. Uh, yes, actually, those four lessons were was like the foundation for me. Like for me, that was the beginning. Now I can use R with confidence and I can practice. So. I can go through all the lessons and review everything. So yeah. I think. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, this is determination. So you have to. So you, uh, I said earlier that the, these lessons were the to give you message that R is not so difficult as we think. Main thing is that the R is not problem. All things are available in. I already said that on Facebook and, uh, and website books. I will share with you two more books. I share with you ggplot book and today I will share two more excellent books that I read. And that's a 
uh, if you read these books, uh, you will be more confident to use R. I will share with you these books. Or these are very, very basic books, uh, statistical analysis and R. All others uh, commands are available in each and it, uh, all detail. These have chapters, long, long chapters. So you have to read that. So now you are OK with the basics. So you have to read this literature and read these codes, how people are doing that. Uh, some people are doing in different ways, so you have to do that. OK, I say the, the basics are. Yeah, well, yes, yeah, the, the basics are well known now, so. Yeah, yeah, you know the basics of our software, so you understand this command, the what component this command has. So you know that this is that this is data, this is function, and this is X and Y. What are these? So no, you know the parts of command. So you can change it with your data, and you can run it. So it will work. That's good. Okay, Sayyid Adil Hussain Shah sir, what you think about the confident about our yes sir how, yes yes. First of all, we really appreciate you, sir. You made this easy to understand, and now we will practice, inshallah. Yes, good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So, anybody had other comments or questions? So, we will move to the our statistical. So statistical is the uh, world of statistics, but I will try to give you. That's a very very important part so far. Your under statistical has a lot of. Anything anybody can tell me why we do statistic. Why we do not with the raw data? What is the important of statistic? Can anybody? Why statistic is important that? Why we use statistic? Why we not use the raw data and con made a conclusion? Can anybody give me uh, answer? Because uh, raw data, you know, from raw data, you cannot extract any information. The data must be converted into information. I mean, when the data become meaning meaningful, it is called information. So data analysis in the form of software or maybe other packages, it actually uh, convert the data into information. So that's why it's important. Yes, that's a good point. But yes, if sir, it, provide, it yes. provides the best description and better understanding also. Yeah, that's a good. But say if some values are coming uh, for uh, eight and twelve, and I and uh, we can uh, make a conclusion that the twelve values is good, so we will take decision on twelve. So why we use uh, stats if some values are four, eight, and twelve, and you can take decision that twelve is best. So why we then we use statistics? The doctor sir, as far as science is concerned, it's not just like you know some empirical you know sentence. Just like we say that twelve is important. No, in statistical analysis, every decision is made based on, on the probability value. Just like the probability value 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.05, significant, non-significant. So unless and until we can't use the statistical uh, you know um, statistical formulas. Uh, we cannot uh, just simply, you know, infer that this uh, conclusion that this value is OK, this value is OK. So statistical analysis is important to make a final conclusion based on some basic statistical value probability. So that's why it is important, I think. Yes, that's the one point that probability is important. And can anybody explain me what is probability? Anybody can explain what is probability? Can anybody share with the that's what is probability? So why we say that's probability? I think that the probability is actually a probable chance of having something in hand. You know, for example, if we toss a coin, we have only two probability: either it will, it will be a head, or it will be a tail. In case of a dice, you know, we have six probability will be one, two, three, four, five, six. So actually probability means uh, a chance to obtain some sort of value among all probable, you know, values. Yes, that's a good point, uh, Dr. Nasrullah raised that. Uh, 
Actually, as I read the all statistical materials and all the informations, that's I that's a two more important points why we choose uh, statistics, why we do not take the decision from raw data. First uh, is the I that's I have read all that materials that first is the we of uh, actually when we take uh, we, uh, we are going to measure the age of uh, you know uh, uh, age of man or a, a uh, maximum age limits of different peoples in different countries so we will we cannot measure all the populations so we measure only some peoples it means we take some samples we raise 10 15 100 200 so we cannot measure whole population we take decision on sample basis so the first point is that you deal with this sample so you must have to do with the statistic if you are doing we can measure all population then it's mathematics so we this is simple two plus two and four but when you are dealing with the sample, when we have large crops and we could not measure the height of every plant, so we take five plants, ten plants, and on the basis of samples, we cannot uh, take the C and that's uh, to four, eight, and twelve is good. So we, then we will move with the statistic. And other second point, as Dr. Nasrullah raised, is the probability that is the chance by chance. Uh, twelve can come come out by chance. So uh, probability and these models delete the biasness or by chance something that says by chance this value come out. So th this model we use in statistics that reduces this ch by chance uh, of any re result. So these are the two main things. One we deal with the samples, and then these models reduce the chances by chances. Anything come out suddenly. So we can that this value come suddenly or by chance. So some people, you, you can see that the one uh, one man is playing cricket and he makes a six as a on in one of in one over uh, on each ball he makes six. It may be by chance. In uh, other overs he cannot perform same like that. So. Uh, the statistic reduces the by chances uh, and any sudden says and this come out suddenly or by chance values. So the, we use the statistic for this. First we use with samples and secondly we use uh, uh, to reduce the biasness or uh, by chance things. So these uh, I think that these are two components move us to the statistics. So we have to use the statistic model to take uh, correct the decision about us. If we do not uh, on the basis of we, on raw data and anything, so we make decision that's our decisions are not right. Our decisions can be wrong. So that's why we move with the statistical models. So that's a uh, basics of uh, statistics. So what you understand, Mohid Ali, why statistics is important? So this. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why uh, statistics is important? Uh, yeah. Because as you mentioned that uh, we are not measuring the entire uh, the entire population, or we are just taking samples. So when we take samples, we cannot. To make conclusion based on those samples. So that's why we use the statistical models to reduce mm -hmm. the error or the bias. Yeah, you reduce the errors and by chance things. So you have to move to the statistics and do the with models. So that's uh, basic things. And now we will come out so that to our lessons. to the lesson statistical analysis so in our today lessons we will see the basic structure of statistical analysis in r how ours deal with this structure what is the structures that's a function or formula that's r do statistical models in r we will see that some which models in r we can use that and we will see that's a model formula in ours so what is the model formula? Then the multiple comparison we will make ANOVA and comparison and then we will see RD design or RC, RCVD designs in R. So we will see that and that's how the R can perform. So OK, we will move towards lessons.
Okay, basic structure of statistical design. That's our deal with this and models and model formula. What statistical model we are using and then in brackets you have to write model formula in ours. What model you are going to use and what model formula is in R. So you can model formula is like that response variables. So this is title sign explanatory variables. So you have to write these things response variables, then the explanatory variables. So that's an example. Same boy wants yields and boy wants nitrogen rate effects on yields. So we can write model formula like that. So you are response variable then you are explanatory variables. So you have to write these like that things. So this is your model formula. So you are uh, y axis component. What you want uh, response variables and then the explanatory variables are your factors are your independents are uh, independent factors. So first you have to write dependent variables. Then you have to write independent variables models. And then is, uh, you can see that we want to use linear models. So we want the yields and nitrogen rates. So this is the basic structures of. So this is your linear models and this is your model formula. So R operates like that. So first you have to define what which model you are going to use. Linear models, other mo models I will show in next slides that what models you are going to use. Then you have to write model formula. So anybody understand that point? That's important. So R T like that. And then if you know that you will do, do statistical analysis in R's. So first you have to define models, what models you are using, then you have to formula model formula. Model formula is response variables and so then explanatory variables. So you have to do variables and you can uh, do statistical analysis in R. So you have to must understand this point. How are operate with the statistical design or how are deals the that things? Anybody can repeat this point? What I said? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes. First, yes, we have, sir. First, first, we have to define the model which we are using. Then we have oh. to define the model formula. First, we will yes. write the independent variables, then we will write the independent variable. Yes, so we have to write in this form. OK, Dr. Nasrullah, have you understand that point? Hello. And Mohid Ali, you have to understand that point? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, first, the, the basic structure is the model and the model formula. The model, okay. for example, we have the linear model, the linear model, and the formula first starts with the response variable and then the explanatory variables. Uh, as the yield uh, again is the nitrogen rate as response model against explanatory variables. Okay. Yeah. That's so that's a this, uh. this is the basic structure. Yeah, basic structure are deals uh, all statistical model in this way. So you when you uh, when you the all models are all these things are available. All models are available. So you have to see that say, the, uh, this will be written in this uh, form. So you have to understand this. And next we move. So this is also very important. Important sign use in the model. OK. So you can uh, uh, the yields and nitrogen rates and then you can uh, plus sign with the uh, variety. So you can add some explanatory variable uh, two, three, four, what factors your data have. So you can add with the plus sign as well explanatory variables one more, two and three. As I add nitrogen rates, then plus uh, varieties, plus uh, treatments. So you can add these things with in, with the formula within the model formula. Then you, you can delete any explanatory variables. 
So you with minus sign, you can delete uh, an nitrogen rate minus variety. So you have write all all the factors, all your independent and you want to delete some uh, independent variable from the model formula. So these all sign will come in model formula. So you can add explanatory variables, you can delete explanatory variables, so you can do that. And then the inclusion of explanatory variable and interaction. And it, and plus and the interactions will not come, but it will show individually effects of every treatments variables, exploratory variable. But when you will use this steric sign, then the R will show you interaction also of this. So if you want to see the interaction of two independent variable, you can use steric sign in model formula between the two independent variables. So then the, the uh, condition sign, this is the uh, slash. So, so you can condition say why uh, we want to X, but given that this will come out in different uh, models. You will see that so when you have two and three uh, explanatory variables, you want to give some conditions. So you have to line this. And then is the colon sign. This will also show the interactions uh, interaction. Yes, colon sign means a, a interaction. So that a colon sign b, it means two way interactions. If we have n colon sign p and colon sign k and colon sign uh, uh, magnesium, so four way interaction. So this is colon also show you interactions. And then the, the static also show you interaction plus and you can include explanatory variable in your formula with the minus sign. You can delete the explanatory variables and this slice you can condition anything since so you want to condition that X is a, a, then you have if you can, can condition it with the years. So you want to buy a, a X a condition in a first year. So you want to do your analysis of first year. You want to do analysis of second year. So you can give any conditions in your model formula. So these are the signs and many other signs are also available, but if these are the basic signs that will be used, uh, you will use in your statistical analysis. I said the statistical world is very, very big. So you will find uh, more things when you explore, but these are the basic thing that you must understand that how R operates, how you can use different models in R softwares, how you can, can add some explanatory variable, how can you delete, how can you find interactions of different independent variables. So this slide is very, very important uh, for using R softwares uh, uh, with the statistical uh, analysis in R. So you must understand this thing. So this will make your life easy in statistical analysis. So uh, Doctor, sir, sorry, uh, sorry, I miss a little bit session due to internet. Uh, can you repeat this one? How to say deletion and inclusion of variable? Only repeat this portion. Okay. So response as a, you we have right. Uh, that's a model formula response variables and explanatory variables. We want to add many uh, other experiments as in example, shield and nitrogen. Plus we want to variety, plus we want to treatment. So we can add others uh, uh, variables, independent variables with this uh, plus sign. And we can also exclude or delete explanatory variable with the minus sign. We can also delete that. If we want interactions, then we, we will use a static sign between independent nitrogen rate, steric variety then the this will i uh, show you the interactions between two factors this is uh, interaction is significant or non-significant or will show you then in the, this life then conditions we want that we want yield and nitrogen rate in the year first so we will this slash we can use these things conditioning on uh, that thing we want to uh, seeing uh, the effects in one year two years are uh, in presence of uh, any exploratory variables. Then the colon sign in is also show you interactions that A colon sign B means two way interactions. If you have four factors like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and magnesium, so you can uh, add colon sign among them and you can see the four way interaction with them. So these are the signs. I said that the many other signs are also available. In books you can see that 
But these are the basic signs that will you will see in statistical models when you will dealing with that things. So this slide is an I said that's very important for using statistical analysis in R. You must understand these things and these what is the meaning of that. And you will find more explanations in notes and other things. So, but you understand this. Any confusion at that point? So in the formula, in why, why the aggregate sign X then slash Z? So what is the, you know, the vertical line between X and Z mean in this formula? Yeah, this, yeah, this will, uh, we are giving conditions in formula that uh, we want uh, the analysis in only one, if we have two year data. So we, if you want to give it only in one year, any condition so you have to do one year analysis so you can give its condition here so that's an r will do that condition so he it will do analysis in first year he will not exclude the data of second year so you can give a condition here so you can make okay. any conditions what you want got, got it now thank you okay good thank you so any other body what moidali you have learned about these things so this slide is very important. Uh, yes, sir. Those are the signs. For example, we have the plus and the minus for the inclusion or deletion of the explanatory variables. Okay. And and we have the and we have the conditions. For example, if we have uh, two years or or mm -hmm. data from two different uh, from two different time zone, we can put conditions whether we want to use the first or the second one. And the okay. colon and the colon for the interactions. Yes, it's in colon in interaction. So this is the this is the slides. You know, after that, you can do statistical analysis in our software. That's no problem. Now I will see you the uh, in next slide, which models are available. These models are available and these have given some conditions so you can use these conditions and uh, so you can apply that model. and model formula are also present in it so we are moving too far any question uh, at this stage so we will move that so this uh, i said that this i will build your basic of statistical in r and you can if you understand these things you can uh, run the commands in r softwares so okay can we move forward yes dr sir okay good so this is uh, all uh, uh, summary of statistical models in our softwares. So LM, you can see that. Oh, okay, one minute. Okay, no screen is displaying on your screen. So this is the summary of statistical models in our softwares. So you can see that uh, is uh, first is LM linear models. Dr. Sab, can you little bit zoom this uh, uh, slide because the words are so small that uh, they are not, uh, you know, we cannot clearly see the text. Okay, Dr. So I try to. Now it's in uh, some something. Yeah, yeah, now it's OK. OK, so these are the model for models. So you can use these models in your statistical analysis. So this is a first is the linear models. So all models have conditions. So the, if your data meet these condition, you can use uh, the models. So this is the linear models. So this has some condition. This is a use and this is used for regression analysis using continuous explanatory variable. If your data has continuous explanatory variables, so you can use linear models. And uh, next model is AOV analysis of various models. This is a uh, commonly used that it's in, in last line. You can see that if your models has categorical uh, uh, categorical variables, so you can use uh, analysis of variance model. Can anybody tell me what is continuous explanatory variable? What is the difference between continuous explanatory variables and uh, categorical explanatory variables? Uh, Doctor, sir, I think continuous variables are you know quantitative in nature um, because when we have quantitative variables, 
uh, their uh, trend will also be, you know, a, a continuous graph type, as far as I know. Uh, but uh, the categorical variable, I don't have uh, so much understanding of the categorical. But continuous, I think, mean when we have quantitative variables. Okay. Can anybody uh, tell me continuous variable and categorical variables? So we have two models, linear models and analysis of, of, of various model. So we, what is the difference between continuous variable and explanatory variable? Uh, categorical variable, sorry. Anybody? Continuous explanatory variables. I think continuous are mnemonic con variables. Yes, yes, That's you are right. Yes. Yes. Continuous uh, that variables are uh, No, this, uh, this, as uh, Moidali said, that this is the numeric variables. When you have nitrogen rates, it means 75, 0, 75, 150 kg. So these are continuous variables. These are numeric things. But uh, categorical are sometimes names like variety, variety 1, variety 2, variety 3. So you cannot um, uh, divide things in these things. So this will be fixed variety 1, variety 2, variety 3. But uh, continuous variables are numericals. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These will be in number, numerics. When you have numeric explanatory variables, so you can use linear models. When you have categorical uh, like variety, so you have to use analysis of variance. So you can use these things. Categorical variables. When you have some varieties, uh, some uh, city, some uh, country name, so like this. So these are categories. When you have category, category variables, so you have to use these things. But Dr. So Sir, if we have both. Uh, yeah. If we have both uh, categorical and uh, numerical continuous in the same yeah. data, so what we have to do? Yeah, that's a you you can see that's an analysis of there's a ANCOVA A and C O V A. This is given in the in this model that ANCOVA when with a mixed categorical and continuous explanatory variable, then you have to use uh, ANCOVA this uh, this model. So this is also present in variance, but you okay. can use it. So you can use this. Okay, so these are the these are the models. So you have to use all these models. You can use this model, but when you have to fulfill these conditions, like I said, in linear model, we can if continuous variable, we can use linear models. If categorical variables, we can use MO uh, analysis of variance and even uh, both categorical and a continuous experiment, then we can ANCOVA model. So these are the statistical models. And you see that so what models uh, uh, fulfill uh, the conditions of your data. So you can do this. These are the all model statistical models. So like this uh, in the next slide. Sorry, please display. Yeah, Okay. These are all model formula. So you can use them one way and over, two way and over. When you have uh, split plot and over, nested and over, nested of co covariance. So these are formulas are present in uh, our softwares. Uh, this sheet I will share with you. So these are formula are present. These models are present. So you have to, but you have to select what uh, the uh, models uh, you can you can choose for your data and what model formula this fit for your data. So what uh, you are doing, you are using that. So you are using split models. You are doing the CRCBD. You are using uh, one way ANOVA, two way ANOVA, factorial ANOVA. So you can use uh, these all model formula are present for you. So uh, as, this this is the uh, that uh, slide first slide where I show you model and model formula. So you can use it. And this will give you ANOVA and uh, we will see uh, next we can multiple comparison. We can use that. So this is the simple thing I have 
selected for you. So you have the R work in this way. So you must understand models, model formula, and all models are given for you. All model formula are given for you, but you thing is understand what model fit for your data, what model formula fit for your data. So you have to read these materials and see your data things, and you can apply and you can do statistical analysis in our softwares. So anybody can repeat these things. So I said that this slide is important. So I will again now you will understand that. I am again on my uh, first slide basics of statistical design in R. So okay, Dr. Sab. So these are the you know no. We are again on that flat. So these are the things you have to understand. Then you are OK in uh, statistical analysis in R. So these are the basics. If anybody understand this, my less, uh, lessons today, then it's a uh, life. Uh, and we will see we will also practice in uh, R software. These are uh, the one line and two line commands and you can do statistical analysis for you. So these are the basic thing, but, but you have to understand. If you understand this thing, the statistical analysis will be easy for you. So anybody have can repeat this, what I said up to that. So Dr. Saab, uh, in the two slide we have explained, I mean you have explained the basic of statistical design in R. One is a basic structure and another one is important sign and use model. In the basic structure, we you have talked about the model formula and there are two things very important. For example, is what is response variable and what is explanatory variable. For example, in this case, yield is the response variable and nitrogen rate is the explanatory variable. So by element means linear model and uh, why the sine nitrogen rate is the model formula. So together they form the basic structure of the statistic. In the important sign, we have five important sign. Plus means the inclusion of explanatory variable, uh, minus means the deletion. And steric means the inclusion of explanatory variable along with interaction. If the uh, the fourth uh, sign represent uh, a specific uh, formula, for example, y into x into z in this case. Colar means whether the interaction will be two way or four way. And uh, for example, in this case, you have shown a b is a two way and nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium is a four way uh, interaction. Uh, so this is all about the first slide. OK, good. Then you have seen in the next slide, all model formula are available for you. All models are available for you. So you have to select what is right model for you and what is right model formula for you. OK, so these are the three slides for all statistical analysis in R. So you have to understand these theory slide and then the fourth thing is your data. So if you can understand these things, then it will be easy for you. OK, Dr. Mohit Ali, can you please it? What in these three slides, what we have learned about the statistical analysis in R? Uh, yes, sir. OK, uh, the first the first slide is. The basic structure of this of the statistic design and the important science that uh, comes with it. Uh, the first, uh, the model and the model formula. As a, the model, okay. the model, for example, here we have uh, and the model formula, we have the response we have response variables and explanatory variables. Uh, in this okay. case here, the linear model. Is the model and there is uh, the model formula is the yield and the nitrogen interaction. Uh, the nitrogen rate and the important sign uh, we have the for the inclusion and deletion of the explanatory variables. And then the inclusion of the explanatory variables and the interaction. And we have uh, conditions here. Uh, we, this column for the, for the, I mean, this for the conditions. And the last thing in the column, the column that we use it for interactions, whether it's two or three or four interactions. Okay, so those so are the, what do you understand? Are, okay. okay. Yes, From those that, are the important signs. That, OK, from uh, next slide, what you have learned in next slide. The next slide, uh, the, the, the types of the 
the, of the types of the models that we have. And depending on the, the data that we, we want to analyze, we, we select. So whether it's one or two way ANOVA, regression or something else. Okay, okay. then model formula. Okay. You have also model formulas, so you can uh, select what mod model formula you need for your data. So all these things are available for you. So you have to understand that's how our operate will. Okay, so last one, Sayyad Adil Sancha said, so you quickly repeat what you have shortly, what from three slides you have clear about statistical analysis in yes, R. Sir, I have so learned yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir, I have learned about basics of statistical design. First, we have to describe about the model, then model formula. In model formula, first we will write dependent variable, then independent variable. And if we have to uh, add any independent variable, then uh, plus sign is used. And for deletion, minus sign. And we, if, we if we have to uh, define any interaction, then static sign is used. And slash sign is used for condition. And colon sign is used we have, if we have to give, uh, 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 confirm about any interaction. And then we also uh, learned about model formulas, ANOVA. And uh, we have to describe our uh, data it is uh, continuous or uh, uh, qualitative okay yes and then we have model formula so these are the thing basic structures uh, how our operates uh, and how are they with the statistical analysis so these are the basic things uh, for uh, statistical analysis in our software so okay now now we will move some general things uh, in a statistic, so these are also linked with the today lesson. Okay, then the when we uh, make uh, we apply models to our uh, data, and uh, then the sometimes uh, things come out that the our treatments are significant. I have four varieties, and then uh, the, uh, my ANOVA say that these are uh, significant. So Mars, I have nitrogen rates. Then uh, uh, Stat said that this is the big difference between them. Uh, this is the significant difference. Then model says me to that, and. Uh, I know that uh, ANOVA is a say journal that the, all your nitrogen rate are significant. I will show in next example to you. But I want uh, to know that so which is the best one, which is uh, I have three nitrogen and which is the top one, which is the second one, which is the third one. So I want to uh, categorize uh, all my treatments. So I want to set by which comes top, top, which comes second, which comes third positions. So for this, uh, I have to use multiple comparison test. So I have to apply com multiple comparison test. So a lot of com multiple comparison test, T test, Ducky test, and Bonofi, and then test. Those uh, a lot of tests are available. So you have to you can select here. You can see that uh, these are advantage and this So so you can uh, we use a uh, so t test uh, lsd test uh, to keep multiple comparison test so then we uh, use this uh, to show the difference categorize our treatments so anybody can understand that so uh, what uh, importance of multiple comparison test why we use multiple comparison test Anybody? Doctor, sir, this yes. is not uh, clear to me. Maybe OK, Said Adil, you should explain it. OK, thank you. Please explain for other. Yes, sir, we use Ducky test, Dunner's test for multiple comparison. Yes, so we use uh, these tests to categorize our. I will show you next in, in slides. So it will be more clear for you. So, these are the uh, in, I will you know, show you the multiple comparison test. I come in high. Uh, Doctor Sab, I have a question here. Yes, yes. 
please. Like you have shown so many tests here, just like uh, T-test is, T-test is the very, you know, common and easy one. All of us are very familiar. But the Taki, Newman, Kules, Sheffy and Boniferoni. So we decide uh, to select which one uh, according to the nature of our data or we uh, perform all the tests simultaneously or maybe one by one. Uh, I'm a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. You can select any test and all these tests are good. And they will show you, but some have advantage and some have disadvantages. You will read this sheet. So uh, all tests are good. That's not that's a, so there are some have advantage. Some we use the multiple to, to HSD to keep a different test commonly used. LSD we also use LSD test. T test is uh, commonly used when you have peers. You, you have two levels, say two treatments, and you want to uh, see the effect of this. So all these tests are good. So no test is bad for bad for anything. So you can use any test. That's it. Okay. Okay. Then the main thing in we commonly when we do statistical analysis in or or in other softwares. So three things are very important. So you if you want to uh, write conclusions of your data, if you making the right, if you want the right conclusion of your data, so you have to follow that. So, uh, normally we see that assumption of statistical models. Some people do not follow these steps and they uh, directly move to the analysis of variance and then the multiple comparison test. So if you are assumption of all models I discussed with you, linear models, uh, analysis of various models, and all models uh, on space conditions. If you do not, your data do not fill the condition of these models, then your conclusion is not right. You 100% that your conclusion, what you are suggesting, what treatment is your best, and you are giving that. If your assumptions of your condition, that is something performs in a condition. Human being, human being can be live where oxygen is present. If we say that we can conclude, we place the man here where oxygen is not present, and we are making some conclusion that uh, people can live here, and that that will be wrong conclusion. So uh, your assumption must be met. If your assumptions not do not, if your data do not met with the assumptions, then your conclusion is not right. So your uh, conclusion. So please. When you're doing analysis, uh, statistical analysis, you must first uh, all models, uh, all assumptions of our models are available. When you Google that, but linear models have assumptions, so all assumptions will come out that this assumption being conditions. So you clear here. Two hundred models conditions. I give you example that a man and humans can live where oxygen. Is. We say that a human can live in a. We can make conclusion that human can live in Mars or a uh, moon. So our conclusion is uh, wrong, wrong, totally wrong. Hundred percent is wrong. That's uh, not a good, right conclusions. So, so all conditions of models should met before moving any statistical analysis. So your data must be that. So some uh, some things are saying your uh, treatment, your application should be independent. So you. So you have to take replication data from different steps. Uh, so have one tree, so you have to take data from one side and take other data from other is, but tree is same. If you have mango tree, you have uh, uh, experience and nitrogen rate effects. So you, so you are taking data from one side. So you are saying that is my one replication and you are taking data from other uh, same tree side. And you say that is the second application. So you are not right. So your conclusion will be wrong. So you are independent. So, so you have to uh, add this. I will not uh, do with that and uh, things assumption of statistics. How we can make and uh, I am not going to teach this. This is a long lessons and these have long things to do. But I will keep in your minds, uh, especially our young students or young researcher. So when you are applying any model, first say that it, your data met the condition of this model or not, then move to what the statistical analysis. So keep this thing in mind. If you are said the conditions not met, so your data cannot uh, uh, give a true conclusion. So this thing is important. So keep these things in uh, your 
So I will show you the these things. Next slide. This uh, I this just slide I added so you can clear that this. So on your uh, second slide will display on your screen. So you can see that so this was my original data where I was doing statistical analysis and making these all my stuff and making conclusion that this treatment is the best. Uh, plant height is coming on that uh, that plant or this treatment is the best. But you can see that what data has in original data, but my original data is that. The original data is showing that your data is not normal. You have some uh, things uh, on the left side and right side. The data is not properly distributed. Your data is not normal distribution. So your data is move one side, left side, or right side. So your data is not normal distributed. So these are the things. So you keep in mind when you are doing statistical analysis and then, and then you can that we have made some transformations in that uh, with it. And these are the models available in also our skewed model box transformation and box in our softwares. So these can you give you that you have to as transformation that this leave the abnormal outliers from your data and make your data like that. Then you can make a few conclusions and you can do that analysis. So keep these things in mind before doing statistical analysis. And many people do not know these things and they what they are assumptions of models and what they, they do scan ANOVA and a multiple comparison and they said this treatment is good. So these make conclusions. यार किसी को आवाज आ रही है मुझे तो आवाज नहीं आ रही है I can't hear the voice I also sir I also I also can't hear okay hello ah now yes. it's okay now yes. the voice is okay My screen is going to you. Yeah. Okay. So we see that. Uh, yes. Uh, my sound is coming. Say other essential sir, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 So up up to that, so we see that uh, what uh, steps. <coughs> In statistical analysis, we have first assumption our data should must uh, uh, assumption of model. Then uh, we have this is the next slide will come out on your screen. First, we have uh, do transformation and made uh, our data normal distributed. You so you can see that the original data and then the data is. Transformations, so you can see that the next slide. Screen again. Okay. 
linear model screen is coming on your system or not. My screen is showing on your system. Hello. Yeah, it's okay now. So one million rate on by second mobile phone. Okay, my sound is coming to all of you. Uh, now it's okay, yes, but the, the screen is not shared. Okay, my screen is in display, all of you. Not yet, Dr. Sir. Screen is not the same. Screen is 
screen is this guy. It's showing to you. Dr. Saab, neither the sound is clear nor the screen is shared. यार आप लोगों को आवाज आ रही है नो सर ना वॉइस है ना सर नहीं आ रही है तो फिर नहीं आ रही कोई कायल नहीं डॉक्टर साहब को इन्फॉर्म कर देना वो तो लगे हुए होंगे कोई इनको इन्फॉर्म कर दे या पर्सनली कोई मैसेज करे इसको सर डॉक्टर साहब को कि ना आवाज आ रही है और ना स्क्रीन शेयर्ड है और सर दूसरा सर से रिक्वेस्ट करेंगे कि हमें स्लाइड शेयर कर दें इंस्ट्रक्टर फोल्डर में क्योंकि ये तो दूसरी चीज है ना हाँ ये ये भी नहीं पढ़ी जा रही है और देखना पिछले जो है फोर लेसन का उनका भी कोई लिंक है या नहीं वो पूरी वीडियो जो है ना वो जो रिकॉर्डिंग हुई है ना वो अवेलेबल नहीं है वो लिंक से आपको जो है ना वीडियो मतलब पड़ेगी और दूसरी बात है ना शायद आदिल हुसैन शाह साहब अगर आप देखें तो अभी तक जो है ना इस लेसन फाइव के थोड़ा एक दिन पहले मिल जाए ना तो हम कुछ वगैरह एडवांस में पढ़ के आया करें ना 
तो इसके भी मतलब अभी तक नोट्स नहीं है सर नोट्स नहीं है हमें एक दिन पहले पढ़ा हो हमें पता होता है कि क्या है उसका हम लोग एक दफा देख लेते हैं ये सर कि हमें आज ये स्लाइड हमें शेयर करें इंस्ट्रक्टर फोल्डर में ताकि हम लोग इनको रिकॉर्डिंग शेयर नहीं करें क्योंकि रिकॉर्डिंग में पढ़ी नहीं जाएंगी हमसे ऐसा ही है बिल्कुल स्लाइड जरूरी है हाँ स्लाइड जरूरी है हमारे लिए जो स्लाइड ये शेयर कर रहे हैं ना हमसे हमें स्लाइड ये डॉक्टर फहीम साहब जो है ना मेरा में सुन रहे होंगे ना तो डॉक्टर फहीम साहब जो है ना वो रहा करे डॉक्टर साहब से कि किसी को भी उनकी वॉइस नहीं आ रही है और स्क्रीन भी शेयर नहीं है फहीम साहब अगर आप सुन रहे हैं तो काइंडली डॉक्टर साहब से जरा रहा करे अच्छा आज बारिश कॉन्स्टेंटली जो है ना बारिश है ना तो शायद ये वजह हो तो लेट्स वेट शायद आदिल हुसैन साहब सब लेट्स वेट फॉर 5 मिनट्स ठीक है सर हम वेट कर लेते हैं लेकिन सर को बाद में रिक्वेस्ट कौन करेगा वो मैं हम कर लेंगे ना सारे ग्रुप में कर लेंगे तो तो एडमिन मैसेज कर सकते हैं हां जी सर कर देंगे उनको ठीक ठीक सर आप कहां से हैं ए वन्नो से हूं पर इधर मैसेज में प्रोफेसर गोमन यूनिवर्सिटी डेस मैलहान में ओके जेनेटिक्स में यहां पे दो साल हो गए मेरे तो आप कहां से डॉक्टर साहब सर मैं ये पीएचडी कर रहा हूं फार्माकोलॉजी में बीदर जू से अच्छा बीजेडी से माशाल्लाह उधर तो दोस्त है मेरे काफी वहां पे जो है वहां पे भी हम जस्ट शेजा साहब है पर वो प्लांट पेतारो जी में सही सर सॉरी माय साउंड इज क्लियर हेलो यस सर कमिंग 
Okay. Sir, can you kindly share these slides with us in instructor folder because it cannot be read in recording. Okay, okay. I will share all things today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Is displaying. Hello. Hello. The screen is showing all of. No, sir. No, sir. Sir, screen to show me or no, sir. Okay, I am going to share it. This way, it will be shared shortly. From internet. Can anybody see my screen on? My screen is displaying on. Uh, not yet. It's not coming out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now it's coming. Uh, now it's clear. Yes. Okay. Also. Yeah. Can anybody repeat it? So it will be made past some inter. So can I repeat what we have learned in two days? What is the basic of statistical analysis in all softwares and what thing we should read during stat analysis? So anybody can discuss. So quickly. Hello. Anybody can discuss what we are, what are the important steps in statistical analysis? What we should do before do moving to statistical analysis? What things should we should be considered using any statistical models? What is the important steps in statistics? Uh, yes, OK. Uh, for each statistic models, uh, there are assumptions they have to be made uh, before we do an analysis. So uh, for example, we have to look at the normality of the data and, and the distribution. If those assumptions met, then we can do our analysis. But uh, we cannot start immediately with the analysis without checking the assumptions. So this is the first yes. step. Yeah, that's a very, very important step. So you first have the conditions, all word models available in statistics or in other words and in other science work in a specific conditions. 
if you give provide that conditions to model, then your conclusion will be right. If you will not uh, look at the condition of that model or, uh, or the assumption of that models, then your uh, conclusion will be not right. So your conclusion can be misleading. So you must have to understand and match the uh, conditions of or assumptions of models. So uh, normal distributions, uh, I said that. Next slide show on your screen. So your uh, treat, uh, application should be independent. So your data now should be normal distributed. You have to that things. And I have also provided that you can see that so your data is showing so normal distribution or not in my notes. So you can practice it in our other ways are also available in our software. You and you can see that's how you can check the normal distribution in your data. So other things. And so descriptive statistics are also you can see that your data is not distributed, normal distributed or not normal distributed. And then this step I show you the linear model in R. That's uh, I have uh, continuous variables like nitrogen rates. So I do I make a uh, response variable. Uh, response variable is plant height and the independent variables the nitrogen rate. So there's a simple uh, design. I, I use linear models in that and you can see that uh, our nitrogen rate effect is the significant. So our we are zero seventy five and one fifty three. So these show that uh, these uh, effect is significant. But I uh, clear to you that uh, next step is the multiple comparison. We want to see that the what nitrogen rate is the uh, first position, what is the second position, what is the third position. So for this we do uh, multiple comparison test. And in the next slide, as it appear on your screen. Now you can see that uh, zero has shows us uh, 1043 and it show plus uh, plus minus. Uh, this is the uh, plus plan standard deviations 5.87. And then it's 122 and 134s. And you can see that uh, the zero uh, statistical lettering or multiple comparison show you A, A letters. English letters in showing and 75 showing A, B and 150 showing B. So can anybody tell me the uh, what is uh, top? So what nitrogen rates I can recommend to farmers? 75, 150, 0. Can anybody make conclusion from which one is the best? And on the top position, and can recommend to the farmers. So he used 150 rate, 150 nitrogen rates to get higher plant height. So can anybody tell me which nitrogen rate I should uh, recommend to farmers? Can anybody tell me? Hello, my sound is coming to you. Hello. Uh, yes, the sound is clear. OK, what more than what uh, from this analysis? What uh, rate you can recommend to the farmers? Which is the best rate from them? And what stat is saying that? So. I think the 150. Yes. Yes, 150s. That's a. Uh, what is a uh, meant by a? Oh, so okay. So a, a, b, and b. So one thing you have must understand at this stage that uh, our software do give the best uh, rating to the. Uh, it's in the example you see that the b is the uh, b is the top one. So r will give the lower letters to higher. Uh, treatments, but in others uh, the lettering opposite. You, know, you see the other softwares. Uh, if uh, this uh, condition will be present, so uh, 150 will be show A, and uh, then the zero will be show B. So R show opposite lettering in the uh, in statistical analysis. So you must have to understand that concept. 
they are show opposite letter in a uh, other softwares you see the which one is the top it will gives there that's a lower letter uh, higher letters in other software 150 will be a but are showing its lower letter 150 as a b so you can compare that and all journals and editor know that they all do the letterings in this way so anybody follow me that point if we are choosing the other softwares, the lettering will be opposite. Uh, it, it will be like, like that 150 in software, it show the reverse lettering. Dr. Saab, can you hear me? Yes, yes, Dr. Nasrullah, please. So what is the advantage that R is showing the significant value by lower letter B? Uh, and not by A, while other software uh, uh, show it in a contrast manner. I mean, they are the most significant value is shown by lower letter, I mean, upper letter A. So, yeah. so what is the advantage of uh, R by using the lower letter B as a significant value? Why not A? Yeah, that's a, no advantage. That's a, the system in, in R softwares. That's a built in functions in R. Though uh, developers had made the R uh, working like that. So people say and understand that these analysis are done in R software. Yes. So how about that? The how, R about, how, how about AB? What does AB mean here? Yeah, that's a in between between zero and 50. So it's a between them. Uh, uh, 75 is not significant with relation to zero and non significant with relation to 150. So it's a at so a par. If we, and so if, we have, if we had five nitrogen level, for example, zero, 25, 50, 75, and 100. So the letter number will increase the same as just like A, B, C, D, E, or how? Uh, yes, if it's they are significant uh, you know, among them, so lettering will be changed. If there is no significant difference, then the lettering may be same to all of A, A, B, B. So it will be same like that. So it depend upon their values. Values are significant among each other or not. Then the lettering will change. If the values are not as significant, then the lettering may be same to all that value. I will show you then when we move in the R softwares. I will show that example A and B, B, it will show the most things. So this is the our total statistical lessons. So these are the main, main points of statistical analysis. You must understand you. If you understand these uh, things, then uh, then the statistical analysis is easy for you in our softwares and like that in other software. So you these are the basic. These are the statistics I have an MSc MPhil degree, but I summarize. I try to give the concept of a major statistical analysis and these things. So you have to understand the basic of statistics. I will share with you the book so you read more and probability and other things. So anybody have questions about the statistical analysis in ours and journal? So they have some comments and like that, so you can share it. Yes, so then I will uh, run a uh, statistical design in R. I see that we will. Uh, you can we will make ANOVA and then the multiple comparison and all other uh, statistical design are provided in my notes. So these are the basic concept. So you can see the command. Now you know that this is the model. This is the response variable this is the independent variables so these are the thing important so you have to must understand so anybody have question or to ask suggestions so but he has clear i try to clear the statistic in our and general statistical concept so anybody can should, i think that's why we should move to our software because it's almost one hour and 40 minutes session is almost over so we still have 20 minutes, so we should move to our software, I think. Yes, our software, well, I have 10 to 20 minutes. So that's it, we will be finished. And it's, we know we are uh, very clear. But these were the concept, basic concept. In R, I yeah. have just scripts. So yeah, that's the basic note. concept, I think, now I, almost clear. OK, good. So any, Muid Ali, Sayyad, Adil Hussain Shah, anybody can give us, he has clear the concept. We try our best. What point do you think that you are, you have learned something new from this? 
Uh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, uh, firstly, I use SAS and SPSS, uh, but they're functions and they're different from this. But in R, they are more easy. Actually, when I use SPSS, I don't know what exactly the software like did and how the analysis is done. But here I can follow step by step and I know exactly the formula. I mean, or the model. Yeah, you can use the model formulas and all this stuff. So it will easy in our software. You see, will really in one and two lines, you can see you can do the ANOVA tables you can make, and you can also make uh, multiple comparison. OK, my screen is displaying all to all of you. Uh, yes. No, for CI, that's uh, one thing. Thing. Okay, uh, statistical table is displaying on your screen or not? What sheet? No, no, sir. Okay, okay. Now it's displaying on your screen. Yes, um, yes. Now it's statistical. Now it's okay. Now you can see that uh, these are the uh, parameters and these are for synthetic rates and chlorophyll contents. And we do analysis of control, hydro priming and compost and uh, by all these varieties, three factors. And we, we made the crops and we see that we can see, see here. So this is the statistical tables I made in our software. So here uh, 2018 data and 2019 data. So this is so this uh, are make uh, this file for you. Or you can run a commands and R can do that for you. Now you can see that I do analysis. Excel file will stay on your screen shortly. So you can do all uh, parameters uh, at one time. You can run the commands of all parameters in one time, and R can make uh, this tables like that for you. But up to that level, you have to read, you have to practice and you have to do many deep things. But you can make this table in our software easily. By running commands and then I show you how you can join to the columns and row. So you have to do analysis in composed and then you have to do in uh, other things. So this is oh, OK. Okay, this statistical table is displaying on your screen. Excel sheet is displaying on your screen. Screen. Excel sheet is displaying on your screen. Yes. Uh, yes. It. Yes, sir. Okay. So, so this is made by our software. Yes. So you can see that uh, 21 parameters are has do analysis and combine this. I have to combine like that. I have to combine the rows. I have combined the columns and I gives all commands to our software. And eventually it, this come out to me. The, within the compost, I see the effect of varieties. You can see that I see. So table I showed you first. So you can uh, do. Okay, it's displaying screen. 
Okay. So you can make uh, uh, like this. You will you will share data with us, and I will develop code coding for you, so you can make it. But at this stage, I will not teach that table, so you will become confused with many things. So, but uh, my and columns come. So automatically creates all parameters. This has data has 21 parameters, and I have a uh, do analysis of all parameters in one go with the statistic analysis. And, and this and 21 parameters and, and I can do this analysis in less than one hours. So see that you do the 21 parameters in other softwares and other thing, it would take time and this like table will not generate. But in our software, you can generate these tables. I have given these commands and this lesson in my notes. So you please read it and if you have data, I can develop code for you. So that's uh, I'm just showing to you that uh, you in the R can uh, this is possible in R, so you can make the. Okay, now we will move in the R's and. Screen will display on for screen. Okay. OK, the step first steps are the same for graphics, so you have to import data file. Then you have to uh, correct the structure of data files. My voice is coming to all of you. Hello. Yeah, yes, sir, I can hear you. OK, so these steps are same. So you have to first import your data file, then you have to correct the structure of data files. So that's it. So these uh, you have to follow for graphics. You have to do uh, correct in the for the statistical analysis. So this is the. Basic steps you have to follow in our softwares. OK. Then the uh, basic structure start from here. So, so you have to. OK, so screen is uh, coming to you. Then you can see that so I have treatment variables. Treatment variables are categorical variable, composed, hydro priming, control. These are all categories. So best models for my this can be uh, analysis of variance AOB. So you can I want to um, peroxides uh, analysis. So you have to um, models, then the model formula here, and you have to connect then replications, and then your data files. So I will run this file. So this is the same I show you. Then just you have, and then have to run that's ANOVA. And you can see that's R has produced ANOVAs in two lines. So you have to just uh, models, and then you have to show that and this is the ANOVA tables for you. So you can see that R has made analysis for you. And the next step is you want uh, different test, LSD test uh, or uh, HSD test uh, to come under. I want the HSD test that bracket start POD, that's parameters that the models that I have applied first. So here then treatments I want to treatment and consoles. So you will press these things and then R will show that things. So it will display on. OK, now you can see that R has uh, produced for you. Analysis of variance uh, on over tables. Move up. So you can see that uh, analysis of variance tables and also multiple comparison test R has uh, generated for you. So these all whereas as ANOVA are also showing that the treatments are not significant, and you can see the same letterings in a multiple comparison, potassium nitrate, hydropromic, and control and compost all are the same things. So this is the things uh, I will stop here today. So these uh, models and then model multiple so comparison. If the, tests. Dr. Sir, 
If the lettering is same, it means none of the factor is uh, significant. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's uh, that's uh, uh, the same lettering is showing that your uh, treatments are done. So you can do that all uh, statistical analysis so, in our software but, in this uh, way. But uh, you know, Dr. Sab, I have one question here. Um, uh, in the papers, in the okay. published paper, when you have the tables. So usually the significant values are represented by steric signs, single, double, triple steric signs. So the R software also put this steric signs on the significant L value, or it's only show by A, B, and A, A, B, and yeah, A, B. Yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Steric signs are present in ANOVA tables, but letterings okay. are present in multiple comparison tests. So oh, I'll okay. uh, show you uh, lettering uh, yeah, in statistics. So this is the main things in, uh, and you can apply, you can apply all models. Uh, okay, okay, so it, it depends on the model. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah, that's a model depend on models on and, and the, this is the significant levels what you are doing that levels. So you can do the statistical analysis in this way. So you can practice with your data and share with your data. So we will uh, do statistical analysis, develop for one parameter, and you can just change the name of other parameters and run these commands, similar commands, and it will show your second parameter. So you can do that. And uh, similarly, you can develop the tables I show you first. So you can make this table uh, also in your, for your data. So this is all statistical our lesson today. So I will so see me all our model are same RCBD model, split model, factorial model. These all model are present, but the basic of all this model is the same that I know analysis of variance and then you have multiple comparison test. So you read our notes and practice this, but I teach you the basic of statistical analysis, how our software performs and how our do that and statistical analysis. Yes, uh, what you have seen in this script or script, how we can easily do that, how we can make an analysis of variance, how we can make a multiple comparison. I just repeatedly can in single line command that all your analysis are out of uh, the uh, our screen so uh, yes uh, yes sir from from understanding the model you can easily follow the the command lines that you know what what is first i mean the the response yeah. variable and the and the exact yeah. model the uh, and the explanatory variable so you can follow them from the from the command oh. line and it's it's very easy actually yeah it's uh, very easy so thank you very much, very much for all of you for this training. So you know you can. Thank you, Dr. Sab. And one thing, uh, tomorrow will be session. No, that's a, that's the end of session. But you can share us with your data and other thing questions. You can email us and we will uh, reply to your questions. So okay. we will so, end today. Uh, but you know, as uh, okay, I so have we... already uploaded the first, second, third day lessons. But I don't know what sort of uh, assignment I have to share in the fourth and fifth lesson. Like no, what time? No, yes, no, yes, I have I have given these assignments in my complete uh, book. So you can uh, I share with the link that I have uh, on a research gate uploaded. So all assignments, okay. chapter wise are available. So you have to complete all these uh, third, fourth lesson and fifth lesson and upload theirs. So practice so, with your data and okay. complete. And Dr. Saab also share the PPT of this uh, last one in the, I mean, in the uh, one drive. And okay. uh, not, uh, not all, but uh, not the least. I mean, the certificates also will have to. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. You have to complete all your assignment in this week. And uh, from Monday, we will uh, send you a certificate of this training okay. to all of okay, you. Okay, Dr. Sab. Okay, okay. So the, okay. this way, uh, practice and the submission and, of the assignment. And this uh, thank yes. you so much, Dr. Sab, for all the days and all the your busy days, the schedule, and you, uh, despite your busy, your busy schedule, you took time and uh, you very honestly uh, delivered all the lessons. Uh, thank you for being with us the whole two weeks. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. So I try my best. Yes. Any other one? Boydali, you have learned uh, our softwares and you have pleased with Pakistani stuff. Uh, that's a uh, we are yeah. good to <laughs> Yes, sir. Actually, yeah. you are you are excellent. Actually, you have, you have built my confidence in R and now I can start using it. So before this course, I was like 
literally I, I know nothing about R. I just know that that I know the program. I have the software in my computer, but I cannot use it. Even if I open it, I don't understand that the difference between the four windows and what they do. But now like I'm familiar and I've practiced the pre previous lessons and now I can start from like uh, setting the working directory and until okay, the last good. You are satisfied with our you are satisfied. Actually, I'm I'm more okay, than satisfied. I'm very satisfied. Sessions, notes and, uh, I'm very satisfied and it was okay, thank, really informative and thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. This is for our players. Yeah, the, you have uh, liked uh, these uh, sessions and these trainings. We are also promoting it. Uh, and our next session will be in uh, in August. Uh, so you can recommend other people if they want to join us. So we are uh, continuously improving things. Of so course, all I of will. you can recommend. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Moidali. And other say Adalus and Chasab and other can share us uh, comments and our things. I really, I really appreciate you. I was totally blank. Now I am familiar with it. It's all due to your struggles. OK, thank you. Dan. Thank you, Saya Adalu Chancha. We try our best. I'm satisfied. Oh, you are satisfied. That's it. Good. That's it. our players. That's it. Yeah. We have um, uh, satisfy you. So. That's a uh, uh, with practice. I said that you will get more confidence. I will share you the yes. books in my instructor folder. So you read all these literature books and other YouTube channels. So you will get uh, oh, but uh, do not um, miss practice. So you do continuous with it. So any other bodies so with us. OK. OK, Dr. Fahim, what you think that and Abdul Mukit with us. Abdul Mukhid, can you share us your comments and things? Abdul Mukhid, you are listening to me. OK, thank you all of you for these sessions and we will remain in contact with you. You can email us and you can WhatsApp me. And we will uh, do all things for you in our software. Thank you very much, all of you. Allah Hafiz. Thank you, Allah Hafiz.